Hey everybody, so this is going to be February's Ipsy Bag unboxing and for the first month in a very long time I actually haven't opened it yet so I have no idea what's in it. It just arrived in the mail. It's like almost the end of February. I don't know what's up with Ipsy shipping if you guys deal with this too. Sometimes it comes at the very end and sometimes it comes in the middle. Sometimes it comes towards the beginning. It's like all over the map. It's kind of strange, but yeah. Excited to open it. If you're not familiar with the Ipsy is, I'll leave the link down below. It's $10 a month. Um, you usually get about five different sample size or full size beauty products, and it's just fun. It's something I look forward to um, every month. So it's going to open the package in here. And each month it comes with a different bag, like a makeup bag that you can keep. There's a card in it that explains everything, and this month's bag is super cute. Right up my alley pink and gray and then the back is just plain pink that's a really cute bag in my opinion anyways okay so I'm opening up the first thing I see is from I don't know if I can say it even Eva NYC I guess up all night volumizing spray for added volume and texture protects from heat styling for all hair types mmm that's very interesting it's in like a little spray bottle that. and it's for yeah adding volume and texture which is definitely something I need in my life so interesting I've never heard of this brand before but it's a pretty decent amount so yeah one ounce I'm excited about that one all right the next thing I see I think oh no I thought it was a nail polish but it's not it's from City Color it's a creamy lip stain in the color Flirtini very interesting packaging like there. Wish I didn't have lip product on right now or I'd try it out. I'm just gonna open it so I can swatch it for you. Okay, so it comes on a doe foot applicator like that. Wow, and it's very, very opaque. And there's the color there. It's like a pinky mauve color. We'll definitely give that a go. Um, sometimes these type of lip stains can dry your lips out, so I'm curious to see if it's going to dry my lips out or how long wearing it is. But I would say it's definitely full size, so I'm decently happy with that. The next thing I see is from Model Co. <laughs> we often get products from Model Co. This is a blush cheek powder. And does it have a color? Nope, it's just called blush. I'm opening it up so that you can see it better. So it comes in packaging like that. Making sure, oh yeah it does, Cosmo Cosmopolitan 01. I guess that's the color. That's the color there. It's quite pretty. Like a, it's like a baby pink, but on the darker end of baby pink. Ooh, it's quite, it's actually quite light once I swatch it on my hand. It's a bit powdery, but it's a really pretty color. If I can get it to show up on my cheeks, it's right there. So that's a blush. And then I see something in plastic. Oh, it's an eyelash curler from Amite, Amite Makeup by Artists for Artists. Very good. I could always use a new eyelash curler. This one looks fancy. <laughs> Get excited about makeup tools. Whoa, looks beefy too. So that's the eyelash curler there. Quite a bit bigger than the one I have. And then it has little replacement, you know, the little squishy pads in here. So that's awesome. It's probably like ten dollars there, I bet. Anything else in here? Yeah, one more thing. This is. Mitchell and Peach. It's in a little bag. What is it? Flora number no. one, fine radiance face oil. A light oil with natural anti antioxidants and vitamins. Massage two to three drops into the skin alone or under moisturizer. It's kind of like a serum, I guess. Never heard of this brand before, but I'm always into trying new skincare, so I'll definitely give that a go. And yeah, that was that was the five products this month. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised and I think I'm pretty happy this month compared to the last few months. So 
this I'm happy with. Um, the face serum I'll try out. The tool, which I think is worth it with the bag alone. The blush is kind of meh, just because I'm I'm not a huge fan of Modelco products, but who knows? The blush may surprise me. The lip stain I'm gonna give a go. And then I'm really excited about this Up All Night Volumizing Spray. I'll let you guys know what I think of these. So yeah, that's what I got in this month's Ipsy bag. Let me know in a comment down below what you got in your bag, if you got anything different. And I think that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!